Godmorgon, Jona. Good morning, Bella. Using you have dirty hands? Do we need to clean them? <laughs> Morning snuggles. That's the best thing, isn't it? Okay, you need more on me. No, not put that in there. No, no. What is the door off? Oh, my heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think it's a good one. You want it nice and hot, not hot. Yes. Yes. So it's Monday morning. Why do I keep starting every sentence with so? Well, not every sentence, but every new thing I want to say, I tend to say. So, it is Monday morning. So, happy new week, everybody, and uh, welcome to another episode of my life. Um... I'm sat outside my pharmacy, waiting for my daughter to... Well, outside my pharmacy, I'm basically sat in a back alley. The kind of back alley you see in British crime dramas where they are looking for suspects or, you know, drug dealers or something else to happen. Um, but my pharmacy is up up there in that alley around the corner um, so I'm sat here waiting for Emma to pick up my uh, fentanyl patches fentanyl um, if you didn't know is uh, an opiate it's uh, like morphine it's but apparently a hundred times stronger and uh, I have patches of uh, fentanyl on 24-7 so they last for 72 hours and they give me constant not pain relief but pain reduction which actually is a good start um, had a lovely 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 meet up with Liana yesterday I didn't want to end I was literally gutted to have to leave her um, but uh, I was getting very tired and as I got home, I got straight into bed. I, um, I said I was going to meet her at three. I made it to her hotel for four. I was back home in my bed by eight. So four hours I was out of the house and I have no real recollection of going to bed. I know I sent Leanna a message to say thank you for a lovely night and uh, she texted me saying that she was already in bed and that she couldn't really text more because her mom might confiscate the phone <laughs> that's how bad we are um, and uh, what else uh, 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 um. oh yeah that we were going to sort of catch up more today but that's about all I remember. I also have a vague memory of my daughter saying she was going to turn um, the lights off. Or if it was the TV, maybe. Anyway, I woke up at 3 o'clock this morning still wearing the same clothes and everything. So I can only assume that I more or less passed out and uh, didn't quite cooperate with the, the nighttime uh, routines. Anyway, look. Uh, here she is uh, with the green little bag of uh, drugs that would fetch a handsome price if we tried to sell them but we can't because I desperately need them for myself. I said we're sitting in a 
kind of back alley that you would see in a British crime drama. Yeah, it's time to get killed. Yeah, and I said, and here you're coming with a bag full of drugs that we could fetch a handsome reward for. That too? Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that we desperate, well, we, I desperately need these drugs for my thumb. I'm not so loud. now, um, what are we doing now? Coffee! <laughs> I don't drink coffee, but yeah. Hot, hot beverage. Hot beverage, shall we? Yeah. Hot beverage. What See you. Do. Come with us. Muffin, but we can also buy some muffin in Aldi for the rest of the people at home. That's what I said, that would be nice and muffin. So you might have yeah. to get for an Aldi. Yeah. Oh, it's so cold. Mm. I have actually never had a McDonald's breakfast, did you know that? No. Oh! Because I've never quite understood the point until in recent years I've sort of realised that, well, actually, I can see that there is a point. You feel the wrong candid camera. Yes! Cool. Anything else? Like anything it. else? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Thank you! And then she whispered, what was that all about? Oh, here she is, rubbing her hands. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! Yeah. A few different angles. Oh, that's right. Sugar, that? No sugar, oh, no, thank, thank you. Just close it, You do it that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, now you better entertain us in the meantime because it's still rolling. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Sing a little song? Yep. The McDonald's coffee song. Do they have one? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. But I don't. I don't love McDonald's. However, Livet can passera food from a vulp from a bat from an accessibility point of view to be able to drive up to a window and have someone give you what you want or need so you can sit and have it in your car is really good. Mm. I mean if I could choose to do this at a costa I would love that. Yes. But that isn't an option. Or a subway. Or a subway yeah. or, or a even quite a few other places as Pizza well Express. where I would love that. You know what? That's something. If you wanted to have an accessibility craft, crafter's coffee shop kind yeah. of thing, I think that should also have a drive through option. Yeah, for sure. I love that idea. For sure. Mm. Maybe we'll do an app so you order Are you sure you need to move to Sweden? It seems to me like you're coming up with a lot of good ideas these days. They would be wasted in the north of Sweden. <laughs> they would! I mean, oh. how many wheelers can you scrape together that's going to be sort of supporting a coffee shop every day of the week? Well, if it's a destination. Calf. No. And we have uh, accessible cabins that they can sleep in. Mm, no. Now you're just being negative. No, I'm not. I think what you need to do is to go and spend, I don't know, six months or something at least up there until you know for a fact that I can hack this, I can live here, I can work here, I can make this work. Yeah. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much. Can I be difficult and say she wants some sugar? Yes, I do. How many? Three, please. Yes. <laughs> Yes. yes, only. Thank you. <laughs> She's happy now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Should we go and sit by the train tracks? <laughs> Watch yes. as the trains pass, then you turn right. Okay, so this is like a bad habit that I have uh, developed since starting to drive because it is difficult to get indoors anywhere, really. I like sit, uh, getting a hot chocolate and driving to some place with uh, a bit of a nice view and I'll sit there and drink my coffee and look around whilst uh, 
I don't know. I contemplate stuff that I need to do or, you know, things that I'm trying to do, work on, write, um, a video I like to make. Some, it just makes me, it does two things. It makes me, I don't know, free up some headspace that isn't available. Is it always available when I'm lying um, or sitting in my bed? Um, I don't know. You might have experienced that. Have you ever been in a situation where you've been at home, sitting in your own bed, lying in your own bed, feeling like, I don't know, feeling a bit stifled by everything? Uh, sorry, I just forgot. I just realised I forgot to put my blue badge up. Um, I don't know what a blue badge is. It is this thing that shows that I have the right to be parking on a, a disabled parking spot. Because uh, I have a huge problem with people using it when they don't have to. Anyway, um, back to where I was. Um, yeah, I, I can sit at home and, and feel... I don't know, you know, like the books in a bookcase get dusty. I feel like my, I feel like my brain gets dusty from sitting, uh, I don't know, my nose is itching really badly. Um, I feel like my nose gets dusty from sitting at home uh, too much and just wait for, I don't know, divine inspiration. Hi Bella, do you want to be on this? <laughs> She's really taken to this going out in the car thing. Um, so yeah, sometimes just getting out. So this morning we dropped my grandson to school. We saw the fabulous weather. And then went to... Well, I didn't drop him. I just drove the car there. My daughter dropped him to school. Um, and then we went to my GP, which for Swedish people is uh, what we call our... Ward Central, we go to our GPs, well, it's not technically Ward Central, I suppose, the GP in itself is a general practitioner, so it's just your who's like at it, um, general medicine kind of doctor, uh, but yeah, I need to go there to pick up prescriptions for my um, classified drugs, uh, because they're not allowed to send them electronically or, or anything and you can't get them on normal repeat prescriptions which is a good thing obviously so you need to actually go in in person or someone who is sort of your designated your designated driver life driver can go in and pick up pick them up for you uh, I think there's quite a lot of dust in my brain still Today is very bad. I am so tired. I should. I just want to go home and get in bed again. Anyway, but yeah, this um, this thing popping by McDonald's and picking up a hot chocolate. I don't drink coffee. I'm I'm going off tea. I don't particularly like teas anymore either. Going off everything. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't want to eat anything, and yet, look at this. I don't even understand this. I eat less than half of what I used to. Um, I mean, take McDonald's for an example. I go to McDonald's, um, now I got you a muffin and a chocolate. But if we were to go to McDonald's to buy something to eat, I'll get a Happy Meal. And I can't eat it. Uh, not all of it, particularly the, the the chips. I can't really eat the chips. Um, even though, having said that, McDonald's chips I can eat more of than any other chips because anywhere else, I don't know, the the smell of them is ugh, makes me sick. I can't I can't stand the smell of of the the. Um, of the chips so I don't eat them however um, yeah a happy meal that's that's it sort of part of a happy meal that's what I'll eat whereas I mean 
few years ago. I would eat like, actually a few years ago, I would not eat at McDonald's at all, if I could help it. I don't, I still don't really want to eat at McDonald's because I am not, I don't know. They do a few good things, especially in terms of accessibility and, and, and I like that and, and they've done a few other things recently where, well recently, but in, in recent years where for instance you can choose fruit or veg etc instead of, of chips and they started to mark up um, what is actually in their food etc etc. I think that is brilliant, I really do, I, I like that. I wish more places would be that good. Um, so my, my problems with McDonald's doesn't stem from that, it stems from me more and more going off eating meat and, and, and not particularly agreeing with modern uh, food farming, food industries and, and, and food industry practices. That, that's my main concern um, when it comes to, and, and it's not McDonald's alone, it is, um, sorry, it's, it's not just McDonald's, it is, you know, these types of, why are you guys, it gets so dark, what's, what's going on? The other day I was trying to film and there was this strange light, it looked like I had a halo thing going on in the back of my car. And today it seems like everything gets very dark. Look in my eyes. I don't know if you can see it, but my eyes are red. I literally feel like I went out clubbing yesterday. Strange, isn't it? It, it, it does feel like, I don't know. I feel a bit broken today. But guess what? Unlike in the days when I used to smoke and drink and stay up all night, do unhealthy things. I never woke up the day after feeling, oh my gosh, I feel like I've been hit by a train. But gosh, it was worth it. But yesterday, going out to see Liana, oh yes, that was so worth it. It really was. I am uh, beyond chuffed that we got to meet yesterday. Beyond chuffed, really. Um, it's the first time, I think, I can't even remember. I seriously cannot remember getting out of the house into a car, driving away to meet a friend for a couple of hours somewhere, and then drive back again. Just feeling completely fulfilled by the experience. I just, no. I think the nearest I've been um, is probably, I met my friend Jane uh, at the Costa. I don't even know how many years ago that was, like six, seven years ago. But I'm pretty sure it was before the wheelchair, I'm pretty sure. So, we're talking. When did I get my chair? 11? 12, 12 maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure of that either. Anyway, um, I'm going to enjoy this chocolate and uh, this company, and we're going to wait for my daughter who's uh, popped into the shops to pick up some fruits and berries for me for uh, when I'm going to be home alone 
uh, which is going to be a new experience that I'm going to tell you about later. But now I'm going to try to finish my chocolate, cuddle my dog, get back home, get into bed, have a nice little snooze, and uh, then I'll see if I can start editing another video and put it out. That would be nice. That's one of one of not too many things these days that actually brings me joy. I do enjoy making films. I do enjoy telling stories. Uh, and I have quite a lot of stories I would like to tell that's got nothing to do with me. And that is super exciting and a little bit scary because I'm concerned about making mistakes. I'm concerned about putting information out there that isn't correct. Because God knows there's enough people doing that these days. But that's another question. So, um, or rather, another problem. So let's not go into that now. For now, I'm going to put googly eyes on this phone. So I remember... Hang on. I said, that's actually where the camera is. I've been thinking it's up there. But you are the camera. Hello. You are definitely getting googly eyes. So I remember to look at you. That's a fun idea, I like that. Googly eyes for the phone it is, and some contraptions so that I can put it up and film myself without holding onto the phone. That'll be cool. Anyway, for now, speak to you soon. Mm -hmm.